You've all played an integral role in our firm winning the bid for the new city payroll offices. But where's Olivia? Here. Hi. <laughs> You've once again delivered the height of functionality and practicality. Oh. Thank you. Great work, Olivia. Strength is in its simplicity. Well, you can't get too crazy on a city budget, so... As a compliment. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. I brokered the deal. Greg Harris. Oh, yeah, you you brought us that client who was looking to build a warehouse. Guilty. I I'm Olivia. Anderson. Yeah, I know. I like what you did with that police precinct down on Caves Road. Not my best work, but done your homework. So, you looking to do something crazy? Maybe just, you know, a little bit more creative, less cinder blocks, higher ceilings, something beautiful. I'd like to hear more about it. You want to give me a call sometime? Give me a call sometime. <laughs> right now, Christmas vacation is calling, so. Have a Merry Christmas. You too, Olivia. Forget a white Christmas. Christmas vacation for me and my family means Hawaii. It's about getting away from it all, relaxing on the beach, under blue skies and breathing in crisp, clean Hawaiian air. It's what we've done since I was five years old. Let's go, Olivia. Come on. Today right, we'll see you at the beach. Got it? Got everything? Oh, Aloha. Mele kalikimaka. Merry Christmas. You might want to hurry. Beach loungers are filling up. Oh. Go. Go. Coming here is like coming home. It's where I learned to swim and how to snag the best lounge chairs, where I built countless sand castles, and where I met the first boy I ever kissed. It's just sand. I'm Olivia. What's your name? Jeffrey William. Come on, Jeffrey Williams. You want to help me build a sand castle or what? This is when we met the Williams family. They're Boston, we're California. Totally different. So, of course, we hit it off. Since then, our tradition is same place, same time, every Christmas. Oh, look at those two. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, kids! Smile! Okay. Truth or dare? <sighs> Truth. Where are you going to be in 20 years? I'm running my dad's lighting business. That's your answer? <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> okay, dude, expand your horizons. Truth or dare? Dare. How come you always pick dare? Because you always pick truth. I dare you to jump off on a cliff. What? Okay, I went easy on you. You can always pick truth instead. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> Come on, Jeff, catch up. <laughs> hey, wait up. Truth or Dare was our favorite game. Jeff always picked the truth. But then, I gave him the ultimate dare. Whoa. You don't really have to jump. It's just a stupid game. I dare you to jump with me. <laughs> You're crazy! <laughs> we actually did that. Your turn. Okay. <laughs> I dare you. Kiss me. <laughs> get a room. I will. Let's get, get, get the beach, please, as soon as oh we get here. <gasps> Mele Kalikimaka! Hi! Welcome back, Mr. and Mrs. Anderson. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Anderson. Hi, Mrs. Anderson. Hi, Mrs. Anderson. Hi, Mrs. Anderson. Hi
Captain Ariel, it is great to see you. You too. Oh, is the Williams uh, here yet? I sent Drew down to grab some lounge chairs before Alex snags them all. Mario, what's the matter? The Williams won't be joining us this year. What? Oh, why not? They're here for every Christmas. I'm afraid Mrs. Williams has passed away. Katie? It, it was sudden. Only a few weeks ago. I'm so sorry. I just assumed that you knew. Oh, no. No, we didn't, Anna. I was devastated for Jeff and his family. I called him every day from Hawaii. Hey, Jeff. It's me again. I still haven't heard back from you. I hope you're okay. Um, call me if you ever want to talk or something. We never spoke again. Is happy, and now I'm ready to just dig my toes in the sand and forget about it all for a week. That's my girl. Melicky, looky, mama, Mariel. Who's this? This is Lucky. Hey, Lucky. When I took over as general manager, I decided we needed a resort dog and a lot more beach loungers. My hero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hi, bro. How are you? Good. Hey, hey. Dad. Well, geez, you uh, look like you could use some serious unwinding. Oh, I'm sorry, did you say wine because I'm in? <laughs> I meant yoga. No, wine is so much better. I suck at yoga. I suck at card games. That never stopped you. <sighs> Don't listen to your brother. You are perfect. Thank you. Yoga in 15? Fine. And then what? Put your feet together and scoop your right leg up, reaching your left arm up to the sky, into Utita Trithanasana and lunge yourself forward and bend your right leg. Feel the energy flow through you as you push forward into the our half moon. Take a deep breath in, being mindful of our bodies, mindful of our movements as we gently relax into Parasana, our mountain pose. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Jeff. <laughs> Olivia. Wow. Uh. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. all this stuff. Um, what, what are you doing here? I've always been here. I, I mean, you know, for, for Christmas, we kept coming back. So that's a nice shirt. Oh, um, Heidi's idea. Wear it loud and loud, brother. Oh, my God. Can't possibly be. Yes, I'm Mr. Williams. Oh, which is Thank you. Now I feel old. Oh, no. Where are your parents? Because I'm pretty sure your father still owes me an eggnog. Oh, really? Yeah, they should be around here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there you go. Dad is still at it. Wow, that is impressive. Wow. Look who's here! <laughs> the Williams family. Come on, does this place have standards? Apparently not. They're still taking your reservation. Oh, good to see you, buddy. Long time no see. <laughs> good to see you. Oh, you, you still putting up with that dude? Oh, someone's got to keep him in life. It's so good to see you, Alex. Come on, Dad. Hey, I can carry my own bag. Your back. What's wrong with my back? Exactly. Let's keep it that way. Is your foot okay. Good? Me. <laughs> you would not believe the way she carries on. Uh, uh, you're gonna be at the luau. Uh, yeah. Yes, I, I wouldn't miss it. Good. Look what my son made. 
Oh, Merry Christmas. Aww. Merry Christmas. The Ian's tree came out mm -hmm. great. Now it feels like Christmas. Yes, it does. it does. Katie would love that we were all together. Thanks, Fred. To Katie. <gasps> to Katie. Thanks, Woody. To Katie. What? What? You've heard of helicopter parents? I've got a helicopter child. <laughs> She's like this at the office, too. I think it's sweet. She's looking out for you. She is slowly sucking all the fun out of my life. How is everything? Well, that depends. You still a Yankee fan? So good to have you back, Mr. Williams. You can call me Alec, you know. Uh, oh, I will check on your tofurkey. You still eating that stuff? My body is a temple. And I am its most faithful congregant. Ew. Ew! <laughs> it's so gross. It's so embarrassing. I'm so sorry. Honey, honey. Okay. So are you still in Boston? Uh, no. I left uh, ten years ago, actually. I moved to San Diego. Are you serious? You're in California? Oh, yeah. I got a beach bungalow right on the sand. This coming from the guy who used to treat sand like it was hot lava when we first met? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, custom sailboats. Boats? That's amazing. It's more of a hobby. Olivia just designed the most fabulous building east of the Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. What is it? It's the city council payroll building. Yes! Oh, wait, east. You left California. I'm in Cincinnati. You, you landlock, I don't believe it. There's a river. I miss this place. It's missed you. Well, we've been coming back, but I have to admit, it's not the same without all of you. Mm. Peaceful, relaxing. Really? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you all should join us for yoga tomorrow yes. morning. Oh, yes. wow, yeah, that's all a hard pass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some people find the poses quite challenging. I knew that was you. I knew it. I knew it. Melikaliki Maka, at this time we'd like to invite you to come dance a Hawaiian Christmas hula. Mahalo. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't, I, I, I don't even remember how to do that. Yeah, I don't even do that for one second. So make me do this so long. Now, that's a nice guy. Stay out of it, say. You know, I see the way he looks at you. The same way he looked at you when the two of you were teenagers. Hey. Okay. I'm just saying, I think the two of you have always had a real connection. Like soulmates. Please. Stop. Okay. I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> Here it comes. Act natural. Hey. hey. 
New project. Yeah, it's a... It's a post office. Is that all glass? Yeah, it's way too expensive, but I just I need to find a way to draw more light in. What about steel panels? Cheaper, but still reflective. Yeah, I'll try that. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Um, can you take a break? I really want to show you something. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Anderson. Who's that? Oh. Who's yeah. Jen? Oh, that's right. Hang on, is that his name? What? It's weird. You look the same. Old and not old, just, um... Familiar. Uh, beautiful. Fifteen years, yeah. It feels like yesterday and a million years ago. You know, I never thought I'd get the chance to see you in person again, because I owe you an apology. The last time we were in Hawaii together... It was a really long time ago. Got your messages and your emails. We were kids. Yeah, but still, I should have called you back. You know, after my mom died, our family pretty much fell apart. My sister was off in college. My dad was a mess, and me, I was just... lost. And nothing felt right anymore. Hawaii was always my mom's paradise. Mm. She really did love it here. Yeah, she loved the music. Oh, and the uh, the Christmas lays. Yeah, those were <laughs> her favorite. Yeah, it was um, hard to imagine being here without her. Yeah. It's also hard not to be here. Mm -hmm. And then the waiting widows pounced. The waiting widows? Yeah, they use the obituaries like Tinder. Uh, uh. It's not just the women. There's a whole crop of men that'll do it, too. That is seriously enterprising. <laughs> yeah, and it works. My dad married one of them. Really? Yeah, the marriage didn't last long, of course, but it took a while for us to feel like a family again. Yeah. So what made you come back? <sighs> well, you know, my wife and I, we spent... Oh, your wife? Soon to be ex-wife. We separated about six months ago. Oh. Yeah, we spent the... Last five Christmases with her family in Vermont. She's there now with our daughter, Madeline. Oh. Oh. Yeah, she just turned four. She's adorable. Yeah. You've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I wish she was here. Yeah. I wanted to relive all my uh, Christmas memories with her, but all she wanted was snow. Mm, that's what happens when you grow up in Southern California. Yeah, should have seen that coming. <laughs> Sweet rye, Mr. Williams. Yeah, she's one of my favorites. You built this? Delivered her six months ago. <laughs> this is stunning. <gasps> All of the lines and the millwork? And I I've been wanting to use this teak wood. Where did you get it? It's reclaimed. Oh, this is amazing. So, your dad's not into the whole boat thing? Yeah, he still wants me to take over the family lighting business. Yeah, I seem to remember you wanting to do that at one point. Well, my uh, worldview was pretty narrow back then. But I was always in awe of how big your dreams were, and I figured, you know, maybe I should start dreaming bigger, too. Grow my wings. Ah. That's the wings. I always loved being out on the water. I close my eyes and just clear my head. Now here you are. Standing on a boat that you built. Yeah, with the girl who pretty much inspired it all. The two crazy kids living out our dreams. Cheers. Cheers. Evening, Mario. Mr. William. Alec. Mm -hmm. Are you headed home? I am. Hey, um, is there anywhere to get a snack around here? Yes. <laughs> okay. Sounds good.
good stuff. That's good. Don't tell Heidi. Mm, no, that would be a breach of confidentiality. Coffee. I got it. I can't use it. I'm a Red Sox fan. So, how does a nice Hawaiian girl get mixed up with the Yankees anyway? <laughs> my mom moved here from the Bronx when she met my dad. And living so far away, I think the Yankees were a tether to home. Rooting for them always made me feel more connected to her. Plus, I like winning. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, I'm off the clock. Well, I can't argue that kind of loyalty. No matter how misplaced. I'll put it away, please. You're off the clock. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so, why Cincinnati? Firm made me an offer I couldn't say no to, and I was ready for a change. Lucky Cincinnati. <laughs> oh, this is incredible. Soulmates. <laughs> Soulmates. <laughs> Is that weird? <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. No, no, it's not weird at all. I mean, you are the one who got away. The one you left behind. Ouch, come on. I was a dumb teen. Well, I'm here now. Wow. What? You still do that? <laughs> oh, don't be jealous. This one's yours. Oh, it is? Mm-hmm. Thank you. That looks so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Stunning. Beautiful. <laughs> I have a great idea. Do you remember that little uh, snorkel spot on the white sand beach and there was that cute little ice cream stand? So I was thinking if we went there today, we could go. What's wrong? Carolyn called last night. She and Madeline really miss me. And she said Christmas doesn't feel right without the family together. 
She wants to give things another try. And you? I, uh... I have to be there for Madeline. I really wasn't expecting to see you again. I wasn't prepared. I know. You should go. You should go and be with them in Vermont. You would want my dad to come home, too. I'm sorry. I think he's gonna give me that listing on Cafe Del Road. Good, it seemed like a really good property. I think so. I just love those little silver Christmas trees. It reminds me of the ones I used to make when I was growing up. Oh, we should get one. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Isn't this so pretty? Hmm. It's just very serene. It's a boat with an oil spill. But, yeah. So what's this? What's going on here? Oh, do you like my hat? Honestly, <laughs> I like you. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. Well, you were invited. I know, but I can't leave in the middle of the Rockaway deal. I know. I'm all yours for New Year's. I promise. I can't wait. Oh, I'm cold. All right, let's go. Take you want to keep this? Yeah, let's keep it. Great. I just had lunch with the mayor. Of Cincinnati? She wants you to bid on a new municipal complex. Are you kidding? Uh, 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 where are they building it? Avondale, prime real estate. Olivia. Police, building and safety, possibly a youth center. Uh, what's the timeline? Now. We need to get loungers. Uh, there are plenty. Yeah, but Nana said to get the good ones. I'm sending over the parameters. So he took my chair. Huh? Please, just keep this nice and simple. I know, fluorescent lights, tons of concrete. My shoes were right there. Excuse me? That's you... her. Yeah, there are, are plenty. We can just take that one over there, all right? What's up, babe? What's up, Pete? What's it? Um, Greg, Greg, I'm gonna have to just call you right back, okay? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Madeline, this is Daddy's friend Olivia and her nephew Ian. Hi. I'm gonna go take a swim. Okay. Are those your pajamas? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, they are. These are my pajamas. <laughs> my mom got me Captain Marvel pajamas for Christmas. That is lucky. And you're even luckier that you get to spend Christmas in Hawaii. Oh, it took some convincing. I won't smell. Like father, like daughter. Mm -hmm. Did you know that your daddy used to throw a fit on Christmas because he wanted to be in the snow? Oh, really now? He wanted to have hot chocolate and build snowmen and put on his warm coat and gloves. See, Daddy? But then I showed him that you can do all of that here. Plus, we get to do the reindeer games. Reindeer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we don't have to freeze doing any of it. Your daddy and your mommy can take you to town and get a hula skirt. My mommy's not here. She's not? She got forced. Is everything okay? Mommy and daddy got forced, so she didn't come. Only daddy did. 
I think what she's trying to tell you is that Carolyn and I got divorced. Mascara. Must just be from last night. The Williams came back. So I uh, saw Jeff this morning. He met his daughter. Is she adorable or what? Yeah. I didn't see his wife. We're divorced. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'd say he's never looked better. He broke my heart twice. Okay. Bygones. Last time I was with your blessing. Can't hurt. Lip gloss and a smile. Builder. Huh. Okay. Let's make this perfect. He's here. Perfect. perfect. You know, there's a sand sculpture contest in a few days. Who do it? <laughs> of course. Yes. I'm gonna go get us some more water, okay? Voila. I really like her, Daddy. Me too, Pina. Me too. I am so happy we were able to come back here again. Hawaii. What are you waiting for? What are you talking about? Last year, I get it. You and Carolyn still trying to figure things out. Come on now, kid. You should go make a play already. You can't climb a ladder with your hands in your pockets. Hi, guys. Hey. hey. Beach yoga, 8 a.m.? Ah, make it 9 and we're in. Yeah? Right? <laughs> Done. <laughs> I'm um, calling it to you. No, no, you stay here. Finish your drink. at Christmas, the fire's burning, the snowflakes are falling. Luther Vandross is playing. There's no Luther Vandross. Luther Vandross. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do miss a white Christmas. Thank you. 
I'm gonna go up. Right. The yoga in the morning. Right. Well, uh, sleep well, Olivia. Good night, Jeffrey Williams. She didn't want my help. She wanted yours. Well, she's a smart cookie. How can I help? Oh. Well, I don't take some, some blue here. Can you open this for me? Yes. And that will work. And you want to make some oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Wow. <laughs> I said it was an accident. <laughs> Well, the Rockway deal closed this morning. I took the first flight out. It was too early to call, but here I am. That's and you great. are very sparkly. Oh, sorry, I cleaned myself off. Guess what? What? City Council likes your initial concept. Really? Yeah, it is still have to vote, but you are definitely in the running. That's great. The municipal building. Uh, hey, Greg Harris. Don't tell me. Drew. Jeff. Cousin? Friend. Oh. Jeff's family and my family have been coming here for Christmas since we were, like, six. Oh, that's cool. Where are your parents? Oh, they're by the beach. Yeah. So, do you want to go? Over yeah. There? Okay. All right, well, nice we're, we're going to go. Oh, you're going to have to get this out of that. You're all sweaty. I hate the sand. It gets everywhere. In between your toes and in your hair. <laughs> then you come home and it's like in your sheets. Uh, Hello. Uh, Mom, Dad, oh. this is Greg. Hi. Oh, Cincinnati, Greg? Whoa, the One big VF. Great to finally meet you. <laughs> he closed oh. his deal, so he came. Yeah, you got Kevlar under there? No, I just forgot a lot. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay, that's good. Mom. We're huggers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Drew. Drew, you're Drew. Okay. Todd. Todd. Nice it's to meet you. Our son, Ian. Ian. Hey. I come bearing gifts. <gasps> oh. oh. You didn't need to do that. That's so sweet. Oh, all right. Take a look at that. Mm. Well, should we put these under the tree? Oh, right. Oh. Open them now. Oh. Okay. A little okay. instant gratification mm -hmm. never hurt. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. That drone goes 50 feet in the air. Cool. I'm going to go test it out. Okay. <laughs> And uh, that's to grow your own microgreens. Oh, wow, right on. And there's crystals in here, something about charging the water. Oh, nice. It's positive energy infused. That's what the guy with the man bun who sold it to me said. Very impressive. For you, I got you a meeting with the head of Wahoo's transportation department. That's romantic. It takes all kinds. Oh. Really? Is it here? Yeah. Sorry I couldn't put a bow on it. Yeah. But... No, I know that's... you love this place. That's awesome. That's that's really cool. Thank you. Greg, you're just in time. The reindeer games start any minute. We're not going to do that. It's just some competition games thing. Okay, here's what we got going. We got we got sand castles. We got musical beach towels. We got paddle tennis. Todd? Yeah, <laughs> first. Right? And then we got the big triathlon. Oh, I got the try. Oh, oh, it's, it's... oh, all right. Greg's yeah. on the try coming yeah. in it's strong. Not triathlons that you're used to. I'm going to get changed. Okay. All right. No questions? No questions? What do you mean, no questions? I have a thousand questions. All right. Look, the Andersons have, have, have pulled on with this new guy. We've got to adjust accordingly. Heidi, how's your arm? How's your blood pressure? Are you up for this try or not? What? I'll do it. Smart. Hey. 
Odds on my crew? I'll take it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This guy. All right. Peanut, don't worry about anybody else out there. Just have fun and do your best. Just have fun when you're back at home with your friends. See those people? Look, guys, remember those people are your enemy. Destroy them. Got it, coach. Hey, coach. A little intense. Thank you. I'm get to borrow that sometime. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know that he was coming. I uh, didn't know he existed. No. No. Nope. We're not starting in the water. What do you have all over you? It's trick of the trade. Listen, Greg. I've been trying to tell you this is no, not I got this. kind of. This is my land. Okay. Okay. Where are my contestants? Uh, the first leg crap. is constructing a gingerbread house. The second leg is a crab crawl. And the third, a bike race around the resort. Are you ready? Yeah! And go, Bill, go, 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 Get it together, man. You gotta, gotta put the roof on. Put the roof on. Yeah, I hear you. Mm. Oh, I don't understand. Is he never built a gingerbread house? He's half Jewish. Oh. Ow. Come on, Mad Dog. Pain is temporary. Greatness is forever. Where do you even come up with these? Well, here and there. Pinterest mostly. Okay. That's oh, it's fun. Come on. Okay. Ah. Ah. I have a new appreciation for cookie construction. Nice effort out there. Well, no shame a second, right? Well, they say you, you never really win the silver, you only lose the gold. Time to reapply. Come on. Sunburn, melanoma. I love you, Dad. Greg catching a few Z's after the try? No, he doesn't nap. I love a good nap. Olivia. Yeah? When we get home, can we still see you? Oh, she lives really far away, Pumpkin. Mm. Hey, where'd you go? Uh, fitness center. Awesome here. Don't you want to relax? We're on vacation. Oh, I don't take vacation from my goals. Come on, we just ordered a picture of Mai Tais. Yeah, I'm not really a relaxing the beach type of guy. I'm gonna go for a run, get my steps in. You wanna join? I'm definitely a relax on the beach kind of girl. <laughs> okay. Did you submit your designs already? Uh, no, it's just feeling a little generic. I can grab them if you wanna go over it. I'm gonna do it. Okay. 
You got the pulse of what they want. Don't overthink it. Okay. Have a good run. Starting. Ow! She's happy, we're happy. She could be happier. the altitude. Really? No. We're definitely <laughs> at sea level. Lucky! Lucky! So he uh, seems like a pretty good guy, Greg. He is. Thanks. I appreciate that. So it's pretty serious? Yeah, I guess so. Look, I'm sorry. The last time I saw you, you were... I was... Headed back to my wife. Yeah. I couldn't think of an appropriate way to tell you without sounding presumptuous. I get it. My dad might be a little disappointed. But... <laughs> <laughs> we got some pretty spectacular timing, don't we? Very impressive. <sighs> timing is everything. It's not. At least I don't think it is. Locky! <laughs> hey. Hey, buddy, come here. You can't run like that. Hey, is this? Behind the cliff. It seems so much higher back then, didn't it? Ah, it still seems pretty high right now. I remember being absolutely terrified. <laughs> Ditto. No, it was it was your idea. Yeah, for you to jump, not me. I was afraid of heights. I don't believe you. Still am. Scout's on it. You seem so. The gung-ho about it. Well, I had to dig pretty deep that day. I guess it was technically my dare, so I sort of roped you in. Well, I knew how badly you wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. We were, um, growing our wings. Right? Okay, we should get back. Great friends. A lot of memories. You know, I was thinking you guys should open up a shop here. This homeopathic medicine is super hot right now. Great health is always in fashion. Well, we don't want to complicate things. That's not a complication. You just hire a local manager, and then you have an excuse to come to Hawaii as often as you want. Now you're talking. Well, Lucky! Oh, my God. Did Janine from city council get a hold of you? No, I don't have my phone. What do you mean you don't have your phone? Why, is everything OK? Yeah, you're at the top of the list. They really want to see your final rendering. I'll do it. Okay. Tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Good. Talk about it over dinner. Yeah. Hey, guess what? Mm. We made reservations at the island's number one restaurant. Oh, like a boss, huh? <gasps> yeah, I, I had a friend calling a favor. You know we have the number one lighting store in Greater Boston? Five locations. No favors necessary. Not one. Olivia. The sand sculpture contest is in one hour. Do we have to go now? I mean, it's still kind of early, and I, think I promised her. Wow, she's really cute. And I love being here with everybody, but it's so nice to just have a little one-on-one -on -one time, you know what I mean? Yes, totally. I'm so sorry, but I, I can't. Go ahead. We're good. Don't worry. I know all her tricks. See you guys. Do I have to come for dinner? We settled that? Sorry. Old habits die hard. Um, if you want to be alone, then I. No, no, no. Plenty of good seats left.
It never gets old, does it? It's a hundred shades of pink, blue, orange. This is my dream. To run the hotel and to be able to watch the sunset every night. What did the New Yorker think of that? <laughs> <laughs> my parents thought I was nuts. They were both teachers and they wanted me to follow in their footsteps. I'd say you made the right choice. I think life's too short to live someone else's dream. Don't you think? an architect so that I could create beautiful designs and, and, and push the limits. Yeah, but you found a niche that will set you up for years, if not decades, of steady work. You could build your own firm off of this. I know, I just, I wish okay, that Okay, so I... here's what you can do. You can get a pet project, like a small little house edition, and you can scratch your itch that way. Look, I know this isn't what you planned for, but this is where life is taking you, and there are plenty of worse places to be. Yeah. No, I know. You're right. I believe in you, Olivia. I believe in us. We're going to be the king and queen of the Ohio River Valley real estate. OK. <laughs> Cheers. What's going on here? Why are you wearing that? Bad bed. <laughs> uh, cover me, will you? Your sister's all over me. And do me another favor. Don't fumble it this time around with Olivia. How many of those egg knocks have you had? Well, don't you worry about that. You got a second chance here. I'll see what's going on between the two of you. Oh, come on, what second chance? She's in love with someone else who, for better or worse, seems like a decent enough guy. Forget about him. He's a rookie. You're a pro. Get in there and take it to the end zone. <laughs> now that sounds a little inappropriate. Yeah, you get the point. Son? True love is worth fighting for. Was that worth leaving everyone behind for a few hours? Yes. I've just been coming here for so long, doing the same thing, eating the same food, that I forget that there's anything else, so... Thank you. Thank you. Ever since I first met you, I saw our, our future together. An unstoppable team. <laughs> and I want to try so many things with you. I want to literally build a life with you. Because I love you. I love you enough to get sand in my toes. Oh, my gosh. Olivia Anderson, will you marry me? Craig. Is that a yes? Yes, yes, I did. Yes, I did it. Wait, there when, you go. When did you do all of this? I was just thinking about it and just being here with you and, and your family. I thought, why not here? Why not now? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get there. Just right amount of burn on it. Here we go. Mm. I don't remember the last time I had a roasted real ooey, ah, gooey marshmallow. <laughs> the contraband in our house, you know, made out of gelatin, which comes from animal college. You sure, ruin it for the rest of us, Woody. Thank you. What'd you give him for his ankle? A little turtle juice just relaxes his muscles. Ooh, he should not be drinking on that. He's fine. Oh, he's wasted. It'd be good for him. Eh. Yeah, mellow him out a little bit. You should try this. It's so good. Come on. Honey, you can't I'm even taste the animal that. parts. You know I'm not just trying. Just one it. just like you know. Hey, how was dinner? Dinner was delicious. But dessert was even better. Oh, is that what I think it is? Oh, wow. <laughs> Touchdown! <laughs> Outstanding. Truly spectacular news. Spectacular. I just love a good surprise ending. I want, I want to say something. May I, may I say no, something? No, no, no. Oh, it'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be good. I'm so happy for you, too. 
Olivia, you look radiant. You're always bright as sunshine. You deserve MVP kind of love. Girl, you deserve it. So, so what, do, what do you say? Let's raise a glass and let's give it up to Olivia and Jeff. Greg, his name is Greg. No, it's not. What? Uh, it's close enough. It's, uh, oh, 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 okay, time to go to bed. No, I, I gotta go. Good night, guys. I gotta go. Good night, Alan. Going. Wow. Congratulations. You happy? Yes. That. I know. It looks amazing. Okay. Oh, thank you. You're home safe. I didn't mean say, to embarrass you. you know, did I embarrass no, you? No, you didn't embarrass uh, me. You might have embarrassed uh, yourself. Oh, no. Come on. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Oh. Easy, easy, easy. Hey, come here. I want to talk to you Why? first. My second chance may have come and gone, but yours hasn't. What are you talking about? You're going into extra innings. Hey, could you please turn off these lights? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah, huh? You and Mariel have something. Oh, God, please, no, don't. You have been on the bench long enough, Dad. It's time to get back in the game. Is is this what I sound like? All the time. Oh. All the time. It's terrible. Uh, Good night. See you in the morning. Uh, uh, I love you. Uh, uh. Mariel. This? This is for you. It's uh, the colors of the sunset. The guy in town said it's escape proof. Thank you. Hmm. You're welcome. I love it. It's so sweet. Oh, I'll take it. You gotta. Aloha. Mele Kalipimaka. Tonight we celebrate 25 Christmases here at the Mamahia. We hope that you'll enjoy reliving some of your fondest memories as you wander around the pavilion. And don't forget to join us for Christmas Eve caroling tomorrow night. Mahalo. Hello. What's this? Is that you and your kid? What happened? You used to be so cute. Hey, I want to skip out on that caroling, but I do want to go on some hikes tomorrow because this island is known for the hikes. Um, also, when we get back to Cincinnati, my parents have this. Well, there's this new hotel that's open that you definitely need to see. The design is We're going to talk about the engagement party, which obviously, of course, you're invited to. I'm just going to go and get some air real quick. She'll be OK. I guess it's pretty serious after all. What are we doing here? I don't know. I, I, are tell we, me. Are we walking down memory lane, rekindling an old flame twice? Twice you walked away from me. Oh, that's not fair. No, it's not fair. We're not kids anymore. I moved on. I didn't want to leave last year, but I had to. You knew I did. This isn't real. None of this is real. This is Christmas. Do you think that our families would be friends outside of this? Do you think that you and I would stand a chance? Vacation isn't real life. But what if who we are on vacation is the only thing that's real? What if that's the only part of us that really matters? Well, maybe the universe is just trying to tell us something then. Same universe keeps bringing us back together. That kiss after we jumped, that is still one of the best moments of my entire life. And it was followed by the absolute worst. By the time I got myself back together, it was too late. Why was it too late? I was across the country. I don't know. I'm sorry, okay? I was 16. 
Not calling you is the biggest regret of my entire life. Because you were and always have been the love of my life. And I realize that this may not be the best or most appropriate time to tell you this, but it's the truth. And it's taken me way too long to say it. You're the one who always chose dare. Choose truth this time. Do you love me? I'm sorry, I can't. Whatever happens, a Hail Mary is always worth it. Uh, come on, the game's not over until it's over. Doug Flutie, 1984. Heard this story a thousand times. And there's a reason why they still tell it. Barely a second on the clock. Boston College is down 45-41. 63 yards against a 30-mile-an-hour wind. Miami's defense is everywhere. Flutie tossed it up. Nothing to lose. And there's Gerard Bailey in the end zone. The man caught it for the win. So, you just never know. I tossed it up. She just didn't catch it. It's over. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. It's beautiful, Mom. Well, it certainly did the trick when I married your dad. <laughs> After a year of planning, I can't believe the big day is tomorrow. When we started coming here over 20 years ago, I never could have imagined how special this place would become. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I got it. Oh, oh. Hey. Ready? Yeah, why don't I have the hotel pack us a little picnic? It'd be really no, fun. No, no. We got these. <laughs> All right. See ya. Bye. Hi. Oh. Straight hike. Feeling burned. <laughs> hey, are we sitting my parents next to the mayor? I, I think so. Because they are building a new courthouse next year, and it would be so Thank great. You should stop talking about business. I'm sorry. Sorry. One more question. <laughs> Are we going to do the cake thing where we smash each other in the face? We don't have to do the cake thing. I don't want to. You hungry? Why don't we swim? Come nice. Huh. Yeah, you go ahead. Too much bacteria for me. Sure? I'm getting bit up. Can we go? Here, let's eat this on the way. Come on. Flowers on every table. Because I don't think anybody goes to a wedding they don't have flowers. Hey. Hey. Hey, man. Good to see you. Glad you and the family can make it. Thanks. Thanks for inviting us. You have to see what we made. Oh, you should do that. I'm going to stretch out for Okay. I I'm sure she's plenty busy. Let's go. Daddy and I have been working on this all day. Really? Her name is... Andy McSamney. That's right. Daddy told me you named her. I love it. I have to go get ready for my rehearsal dinner, so... Are you gonna come? Uh, no, I, I promised Madeline I'd take her for a Hawaiian barbecue. But we have to make the lays. <laughs> Can't forget the lays. Have fun.
<clears throat> Welcome, and uh, thank you all for being here to celebrate Olivia and Greg on this eve before Christmas Eve. You know, there are uh, many different kinds of love. Uh, romantic, practical, fleeting. And then there's that great, big kind of enduring love. Mm. Two people who are meant to be with each other. Soulmates. I uh, found mine many years ago at an ashram. <laughs> <laughs> Drew found his at a NASCAR race. <laughs> Olivia, now that you found your soulmate, I'll tell you what I told your brother. Hang on tight. And never, ever let him go. To soulmates. 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 She is. That was fun, huh? Got rid of all my business cards. And I think that your Aunt Marie and my Uncle Mike hit it off and started following each other on social media. It's a funny pair. You know that Pinewood property? It's up for sale. So I was thinking, if you get a private investor, you can do what you want with it. Glass, steel, high ceilings, all those elaborate designs you want, huh? It's a nice property. Yeah, take a year, scratch that is, you know? Olivia? It's more than an itch. Greg, you deserve more. What are you talking about? I am so lucky that I found you, and you okay. are wonderful, and Olivia. you shouldn't have to get sand in your toes. I don't and... care about the sand. I just said that because it was a good metaphor Greg. for the proposal. What? Olivia, before you say anything more, just know that I love you. I'm sorry. And I don't mean to hurt you. And, and I have no doubt that one day you will be the king of Ohio River Valley real estate. I just... Sounds like I need to find a new queen. Can't close every deal, right? Hi. Oh, no. Don't be sorry. I'm okay. <laughs> All right, well, we'll, we'll make a call. We'll, we'll handle it. So, so the, the wedding's off? It's just not my soulmate. <sighs> my soulmate was down the hall my whole life, and I just I let him go. I knew I shouldn't have given that speech. I mean, it's just as well. Like, I can never even sit still. It made me anxious. <laughs> Dad. Uh, I'm just, I'm on, even on vacation, just sit down, have a mind okay, relax. Wait, wait. Just... There's something about this place that just, it always reminds me of who I am and, and, and what I've always wanted. 
Well, a wise man once said, don't give up on what you want most for what you have now. Who said that? I think it was Alec. Alec? Uh, yeah. Have you seen Jeff? Good. You should sleep on him, like a dust on I don't even know what I would say to him. Oh. Tell him how you feel. Tell him the truth. sister has really filled my shoes more than a little I think she's just waiting to count down the days till I move down here full time really I think so mm. too early to call but maybe well I'm happy for you dad <laughs> not really yeah what about you? How are you holding up? Uh, I, um... I gotta get out of here. I gotta clear my head. Madeline and I are gonna fly out tonight. I can't watch Olivia walk down the aisle to another man. Will you do what you need to do. I love you so much, son. Thanks. I love you, too. Olivia? Is everything okay? Do you know where Jeff is? I've been looking for him all day. Ah, uh, he took the boat out this morning. It's been a tough trip for him. It's a tough day. Oh, I get it. Um, do you know when he's coming back? I really need to talk to him, and, and he's not answering my calls. Aren't you supposed to be getting ready for your wedding? I'm not marrying Greg. I can't marry him because I love your son, and I don't know how he feels about me, but I have to let him know how I feel before another Christmas goes by, and then it's a whole year, and he's going... All right, slow down. I can't slow down. It's 5 p.m. on Christmas Eve, and this is my Hail Mary. And I'm your Gerard Phelan. Sure. <laughs> Do you think that you can get him to Caroling? Oh, I've been waiting to make this play for a long time. Let's take it to the end zone. Hmm? Oh, thank you.
Aren't you supposed to be getting married? No. I'm supposed to be right here, giving you your white Christmas. You did this. You're right. I always choose dare. But now it's time for truth. I do love you. I probably always have. And it's not because it's Christmas or because this is vacation. It's because when I'm with you, I know exactly who I want to be. And I might have taught you to dream bigger, but you remind me to never give up on my dreams. So there. That's my truth. Now I dare you to kiss me. Olivia and Jeff collided on the beach. It was clear these two were meant to be. Well, it took them a little while longer to figure it out, but what's meant to be will always find a way. I'd say in this case, it was well worth the wait. Jeff and Olivia, the power bestowed upon me from the internet. It is my honor to finally pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> You've been oh, out just the bride. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh. Merry Christmas. Touchdown. <laughs> OK, ready, catch. <laughs> Are you ready? More than ever. Oh. <laughs> 